Travis celebrated the completion of a three-year construction of their new runway with a ribbon cutting ceremony. The old runway was recycled with special construction equipment and recycled on location to be used in the new runway, not only saving money on material costs, but the cost of hauling materials as well. Not a single ton of concrete from the old runway was removed from the installation. So you talk about keeping California and Northern California environmentally friendly. This large runway behind me was broken up with a large guillotine, and then it was settled in for the base course, and then concrete was poured on top of it. That saves a whole lot of time, a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of money, and also filling up landfills with, with concrete that we otherwise didn't have to do. The new runway will have improved instrument landing system capabilities that will enable the possibilities of night vision operations, short landings, and combat offloads to allow pilots to train for operations in austere conditions. We got this incredible assault landing zone, we got this incredible main runway that's been constructed, and now it's, a time, now it's time to start doing some training with it. C-17 air crews use this event to showcase the runway capabilities while on a training mission. Accomplishing this training on Travis is projected to save $7.3 million per year in fuel. In just two and a half years, this $68 million project will have paid for itself. There's something other that's very important here, and that's to the community. This community is heavily dependent upon Travis Air Force Base. And so the community will take pride in what has also been done here and the satisfaction of a continuing presence in this region that was planned and was executed. And so congratulations to all. Staff Sergeant John Ayer, Travis Air Force Base, California.